Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Erwin Ramiro, Nonconformist Watch Lover. This video, I want to review and analyze one of the great value watch, Timex Expedition Metal Field Watch. As we all know, uh, the summertime is on the corner. Uh, camping and cottage season is almost began. We all need the watch with great price point. Basically, it's pretty affordable. We need some features and when we wear it, it will be getting broken, lost, break or kind of any heat or miss. We won't be worried about it. So this watch with this price point currently in the Canadian market in online sources between 70 Canadian dollar to 90 Canadian dollar range so it's pretty affordable with amazing function and pretty nice looking watch so that's why I picked this watch also a few months ago I had a video I made a list at 2023 quartz watch list it was my bucket list so Timex Expedition was one of them. By the way, Timex Expedition have many different kind of like Scott and uh, Chronograph, many different kind. I picked that one because of the price point and I liked the, how it looked like. And I was curious and I got it. Last couple months, I had the opportunity to have a, a spare time with it when I'm going for a walk. From my experience, I really like it, I really enjoy it. can be good for camping, even though everyday use. By the way, this watch, because of the dimensions, can be weird as a unisex. Ladies and gentlemen, both sides can be weird and really enjoy to wear it. So let's look at the details. First of all, this watch has Indigo Night Light. That's an amazing feature. That's actually the most charming point for me. And as like or not, but I am not a big fan of digital light watch. I am okay, but I prefer analog because it makes me more feel like I'm wearing a watch. First of all, I wanna talk about the dial. This watch has a nice white dial, pretty legible, fully Arabic numerals. By the way, uh, it has a loom and night light function. So this uh, this this combination it's really nice, especially uh, when you go to cottage or camping or hiking as well. Second thing is I like the um, the contrast with the red at sec uh, red color at second hand. Also, it has a uh, the kind of silver numbers. And date function as a 3 o'clock position, Timex Expedition ladders on the 9 o'clock position. By the way, 12 o'clock position, it has a nice logo on it. And 6 o'clock position, uh, Timex put the Indiglo and water resistant, by the way, 50 meter. It will be very well done when you are in the camping, with canoeing. Uh, but I do not suggest diving with this watch. Mineral glass, metal case, uh, durable metal case they mentioned in their website. I don't know how durable, how scratch resistant because I didn't use in the hard uh, situations. Pretty well at home or walking uh, over midnight I use it. But one thing I, sa I can say, genuine leather strap is pretty soft and well made. I cannot say the top quality but very well made at this price point. The buckle has the, uh, the, logo, the logo of the expedition. Also strap has in the two, uh, the lock side, both has a logo too as well. 
Timex website, they mentioned this watch has an 8 year battery life and the fully Arabic numeral is pretty readable, it's kind of easy reader too. And let's look at the dimensions. Case diameter 37 mm. That's a for me, I have a 7 inch wrist. That's how it looks like on my 7 inch wrist. That's a pretty well uh, case diameter. Look really amazing. I, I really enjoy to wear it. Pretty readable. Case thickness is just 9 mm and the lock width is 20 mm. It's easy to find a different kind of strap. There's a variety of option, options. The case thickness is really well. 9 mm is exactly my taste. And by the way, can be wear everyday use too. So as you see in details, that's a pretty beautiful watch. Design wise, I really like Timex. I don't know what you guys are thinking. Please let me know in the comment section. Do I suggest you, if you are looking especially and you don't want to worry in the summertime, even though everyday use, you need a, some different kind of watch in your collection, I strongly suggest you. At the end of the day, just a 70-80 Canadian dollar. It's a well, uh, well worth at this price point with this function. I don't want to compare with the Casio because with this dimension and the looking good, I'm not sure that Casio has the uh, same level with the same function and same price point as well. These are my personal opinion. Please let me know in the comment section what you think, what's your opinion. You get this watch before or any, ex any kind of expedition and what was your experience. Uh, I got a few months ago, so you might be weird in a long time. So please share uh, your experience for all of us to learn from each other. Thank you for today. Thank you for your precious time. See you next video. Bye-bye.